What is up, YouTube? Um, Hellspawn here, back again. And uh, this time, it's an actual review. Um, I haven't done any of these for a while. I've been doing a lot of toy haul stuff. Um, a lot of unboxings and things like that. Uh, so it's about time I start getting on the ball and really starting to get these things knocked out. Um, today is September 20th. And any of you that are in tune to the gaming world know that September 20th marks the day that Gears of War 3 uh, was officially released. And those of you that are in tune to the gaming world also know that in addition to Gears of War 3, GameStop was also taking pre-orders for another Gears of War item. Um, that Gears of War item would be the uh, Gears of War 3 Retro Lancer replica um this i believe is made by neck uh neck, 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 maybe i'm wrong it's weird there's no name there's no like manufacturer name on the box which is strange you think they would but um anyways i believe it's made by NECA. yep there it is NECA epic games player select uh www.gearswar.com right there um over three and a half feet tall long whatever um created from the actual 3d data used in the gears of war 3 video game requires uh c batteries times three which are not included and trigger activate sounds um it's a big box it doesn't weigh much even with the gun in it we'll go into that in a little bit so that and get to the main event you know this is a big gun when it makes me look a little bit smaller <laughs> um, it's big the only thing is it's not very heavy and it's hollow um, these retail for $99.99 uh, and and at first glance like if you were to see someone else holding it if you were to see it up on the wall, if you were to see it in a YouTube video in someone else's hands, like right now, it looks amazing. Then you hold it, <laughs> and you start realizing all the different things about it um, that aren't so great, like the fact that it's hollow. I mean, the whole thing is hollow all the way through. Um, it's just a plastic shell, really. Um, the only weight that comes from it, there's some weight in the front from a, a mechanism that makes noise. Um, and that's about it. The rest of it is just plastic. I mean, you know, one hand, I can I can hold it straight out. I mean, now don't get me wrong, it's not like light as a feather. It, it does have a bit of weight to it, but, I mean, it's nothing compared to what you would expect it to be. Um, the paint on it isn't bad, but it's not good either. Um, there are certain areas that look great. Back here looks really good. This, not quite so much. Up here looks really good. This looks great. This all looks good. The blood on the bayonet is badass. Um, you know, so the paint job isn't too bad. I'd probably give it a yeah, six and a half, seven out of ten. Um, these details here, like the wrap, like it looks like a like a leather wrap around the grip here and around the the foregrip here, uh, is really wonky looking. Um, you know, it is what it is. I think I'm actually going to get some leather uh, from the local leather shop and then wrap leather straps and glue leather straps over this just for the effect of realism. Um, some of the smears, the paint smears, you know, kind of get a little, uh, a little, uh, like, fake looking in some points. Um, especially on the bigger open areas like here and here. It's just like a, you know, it... it it looks like a smear. It doesn't look like an edge that's been worn down where the, the finish has been worn off on an edge, kind of like in here and this kind of stuff. It just It's clearly just somebody just swiping a, a dry brush over it. Um, I mean, it, it's cool. Uh, $100, I'd have to say that for after getting it out of the box, I think $75 would have been a little bit better of a deal on this. But, um, you know, $100 bucks is not far off. Uh 
anybody that's a Gears fan, I definitely recommend this to. Um, anybody who is just a fan of BFGs, <laughs> I mean, pick this sucker up. I mean, it's huge. You can barely fit your hand all the way around this. It really, it really is a testament to the colossal size of what the players in the game look like. It comes in two pieces. The bayonet comes off, but it's just the blade. Um, you can see the handle of the bayonet itself is still there, so it's not like you can disconnect the whole bayonet like an actual separate knife piece uh, and use that. Um, it's just the blade, and the reason why they did that is just to save space in the box, because the box was big enough. They didn't need to add an extra foot onto the end as it was. Um, so all in all, I would give this probably a 7.5 seven out of 10, uh, the way it sits. Um, it looks good. It's great for collectors. It's great for uh, Gears fans. Um, the paint isn't bad. The mold is great. It looks exactly like the gun from the game. The blood on the front is fantastic. Um, it, it's good. It's, it's a great piece to hang on the wall with a little bit of customization, maybe a little bit of some paint touch-ups. I think it's going to look freaking fantastic. So definitely worth it. Pick it up if you're a fan. If you're not a fan, you can pass. No big deal. Now, my last and final point, which also, unfortunately, is a gripe, is the, uh, the part where it says, add 3C batteries and pull the trigger for realistic sound. Nay, nay. This is... <laughs> the sound feature hurts this thing. I mean, it's... It's bad. You would expect to pull, and I had no idea what to expect. I did. I, I had never seen, heard, watched a video of the first one. I mean, I've seen pictures, but I've never seen a review or heard the the action light sound feature on the first Lancer. So I had no idea what to expect. I was thinking, pull the trigger, you're going to hear a gun noise, you know, do 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 do, or something like that. I mean, some type of like speaker sound system. <laughs> this is so wonky. It's retarded. Um, now, I'm going to do this, you're going to hear it, and then my dogs are going to go freaking nuts. So, just calm down. But, anyways, you'll hear it in uh, three, two, one. Thank you. That is the stupidest noise I have ever heard associated with something like this. From what I understand, that's the noise that the first Lancer made to kind of uh, imitate or, you know, the chainsaw apparatus on the front. And that would, that I get, you know what I mean? Like if I had pulled the trigger and that was supposed to be, oh, chainsaw noise, cool, absolutely it works. That for a shooting noise on a gun with a freaking bayonet, not so much. It literally sounds like there's a plastic tab inside the gun, and when you pull the trigger, a wheel, like a gear, rotates and slaps against this plastic tab. <laughs> Shh. I mean, it's, it's, it's really bad. It does not sound anything like shooting. Um, it almost sounds like there's a motor jammed and it's getting ready to explode. So, whatever. I mean, it would have been cool to have something a little bit better, a little bit more realistic of a, of a sound gimmick in this thing. But, um, you know, it is what it is. It's worth the money. You know, it's, it's a cool representation of a life-size weapon from a game. You know, it'll be great for cosplayers. It'll be great for uh, Gears of War enthusiasts, for collectors. Um, you know, for 100 bucks, it's probably the best replica you'll ever be able to buy from a movie. The most realistic thing from a movie or a game. Um, the sound feature is definitely a letdown, but, you know, there's plenty of other things about this that makes up for it. Um, I know the customizers out there, uh, I'll do some pretty basic things, like I said, the leather wrap and maybe a little bit of weathering and some painting. I know the, the, the customizers out there that do this will go nuts, I mean, adding sound bites and stuff to it, uh, and I think they'll be freaking awesome. So, anyways, this is the uh, Gears of War 3 Retro Lancer. Come to you from Hellspawn Collectibles down here in uh, Orlando, Florida. I hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, rate, tell your friends, and we'll see you around. <laughs>